morning everyone now I'm going to finish this um, I found I've been going through all my draw bits and I actually found um, these which can go in I take the take them out and they can go in if I need them to go in um, we'll see how we get on I'm not sure at the moment and I might have to just slightly discolour them as well I found those don't ask me what I'm going to do with them don't know but you never know I found some bits of wood that might come in handy some more plant like things um, I found some more of these Plaster of Paris things. Uh, some more greenery. More flowers. Bit of red moss. Which is real moss. Some of this and this. So, and I've got the green one as well. So we might be able to do something with all of that. I'm just going to pop that in the lid at the side of me. So I don't want to lose it like that throw them bits away and I did find another one for the other door so I'm going to do that next but whew, it's hot extremely hot let's put them in there so you never know where bits of twig and that will come in handy but we're going to keep them spare and I've got that um, I've never used it for anything, but what I'd like to do is to turn that into a bed if I have to For filling in now Raymond's going to be here with the um, Raymond's well Raymond's almost done now. I've got these old pair of gloves. They're really super soft leather and Yes, it's a shame, but I did have them for sale and nobody bought them. They were on, on the shop for about two years um, and I, I, th I was thinking of cutting them to make some uh, gardening gloves but I've changed my mind because I'm going to put them back up on the store because today somebody might want them so that's that and I'm going to use a piece of my own leather now where did I put the where did I put my oh here we are like I say I'm going to put this on the door so that we have two matching uh, I just need to make sure that we've got them equal and oops oh, of course you know I go to do something and of course my glue doesn't want to work with me never does hey ho come on let's get it together fee okay so we're going to have that just there. And I might have to just rough that one up a little bit. That'll do. And I think all I'm going to do is just to put a bit of, like it's got on there, a bit of greenery. Just so it's not as bright as anything like the other oh, oh, a bit of dry glue and I think we'll try that with the brown as well just to bring the colours together that's it that'll do me I'm not fussed at all Right, so those two are more or less ready. I didn't, do you know what I noticed in the daylight? This, um, but it'll give it character. It was just the thread from the glue gun. I did try and get rid of it. Anyway, um, now the other thing I found was this. I've got some of these printed off ready. And uh, it's to do the bags, you know, to go in the shed all-purpose compost two different ones and I'm going to make them into uh, little bags so we'll do that this morning that's too small they were better size oh we could do those as well 
that's a lot of work anyway so we're going to do that in a minute but i found these that we used to have in the shop room which are the bags because what i need to do is to do some wrapping paper so now if i remember here there we are hopefully these will cut um, i'm just going to do some fancy wrapping paper to go on the deck because I have to make a serving place, you know, serving sh uh, desk. Now, we know that the paper's not going to be any bigger than that, I don't think. Oh, I need to make a pencil for the deck. Uh, well, a pot with some pens in. So I've got the scissors. I had them yesterday. Put them somewhere. Oh, there. Right in front of me. Just there. One I'll have to hang from the unit I'm going to make. The table sort of thing. Did I do that? Right, keep them together, feet. Straight down the middle. Right, just put those back in my pot. Right, here we go. So they're going to be like that on the deck. And then what we do is, uh, I'm not. Like that. And then I'll colour the edging. Just do something like that. I'm running out. Running out, I'll have to get some more. Make sure that it dries all the edges. Love it when it does that. That'll do for now. We're just going to glue those on. So you like that. And you would never know that they're not all done. And that will sit on the deck. Now these, like I said, I want to 
Let me just see what plants I've got that I can use. We've got these flowers, so we'll do a bunch of these. And we can put a bit of greenery in them. Look, I've got those that can be used. And then we're just going to pop that one in the back there, like that. So we've got some bunched flowers for sale. So that's another item finished. I'm getting all this together pop that in there um, and you just carry on with things like that I'm gonna make more but right now I think what I'm gonna do is um, do these sacks of soil I know and you're saying and how are you gonna do all that Fifi well I'm asking myself that. <laughs> let me just put these bits away and we'll move on right so let's have a look at this is this the one i'm using yes all i'm going to do is to chop these i'm going to try one if it don't work i'm not doing it I'm just going to cut them all while I'm at it. Oh God, my knives. I hate these knives because they're not, they're not really safe. I don't find them safe, but um, they're all I've got at the moment because my blades on the others are buggered.
Now, a lot of you probably won't know, especially the newbies um, and new ones to crafting. I love Anita's Tacky Glue. But the thing is with this, you can water it down. I do half and half and give it a good shake. So I'll pour half of this into another bottle, add water to it and give it a good shake every time you use it. And then that way you've got two bottles for the price of one because most glues are either too thick for certain things, especially if you're doing paper, they're, they're too thick and that's why they bubble. But when you do it with this and you lay your paper over and, uh, you know, make this mixture up, lay your paper over and smooth it out, that's it. It won't bubble. I never have a problem with it bubbling or anything like that. like that they're going to be stacked yeah you'll see the label you know inside the shed so that's what i'm going to do you see so i didn't really need to color them all but that's fine so to be honest i'm not going to glue them just yet not yet um i'm going to put them into a bag one of these paper bags and they're ready and put that in the box I've got a box with everything ready uh, the few alterations that's all right now we're not going to waste these bits Okay. Not exactly straight, but hey ho. You're not going to see it when it's upside down. Sorry, I'm just making it look like a parcel. So you're not going to see it. When it's like that, but it'll have some nice paper on it. So I'm just going to take that bit of glue off. Like that. And we're going to get some nice ribbon. I need a ribbon reel as well because when you're buying stuff like this, you do want to have a nice... Um, wrapping don't you and we do it like this i've got this thin we have all this in the shop uh, other way around fee come on we'll do it this end twist it over so you've got a square like that and then we can Now, what I always do with mine is just to make sure it's going to stick and doesn't weaken, is do that. Just glue the knot down and then you can do your little bow.
great. So that's a few things that we can put on the deck. Now I'm going to attempt to make... I've got to do some ribbons on... Let me just see. We've got to do a little ribbon holder. So I'm going to use the darker ones. That way I don't have to colour them. One, two... And we need some string. I've got to find my string now. Oh. Right, I have to make sure that these fit on here. Nope, not that one, the other one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I'm only going to do six. That'll do. Um, and a ball of string. Right, so now I'm going to make a holder for these. So, here we go. Sorry, the camera ran out. No, but I was just saying, if you want to go ahead and do all the preparation uh, to make a unit like this and do it with the measurements and that, then go ahead and do that. But I have to... Um, 
I make things as I go along and without measurements. I don't know. I never, ever know what I'm going to do. I really don't. So I have to just build it as I do it. And if it turns out, it turns out. If it doesn't, stuffed. <laughs> we alter it or we do something else with it. Oh, do you know what? I needed that. You silly fool, Fee. Let me see if I can scrape enough just to finish the pole. I didn't really want to open that, I do. I'm not fussed at all. Right, yeah. Um, just be careful when drying it, because obviously you've glued it. I mean, the rougher to me, the better, because it saves me having to uh, deal with it. Now, what I'm going to do is um, just get a sponge. I'm just going to use this. Put it in the distress ink. And I've now immediately distressed this unit. And it looks so much better. See, and the reason why I do that is because you can get in the crevices. You're not going to see that. A little bit more on top. And that, oh, that's just great. Look at that. And we can also just distress this one a little bit as well. Not that you're going to see it because of the reels on it. So now we'll just put that together. Oh, God. There we go. So um, I've got a bit of uh, ribbon here. Scissors. Put them back, didn't I? Now, what I'm going to do is... Hang on, I'm going to work and have it in colour coordination so we can do it from the beginning. Six. Take that one out, that's a different one. It's a different. I've got ten shades of it and I just wanted six. Right, so we're going to start with a cream. Yeah, I think we'll just leave that as is. Now, they do have to be glued onto here. Sorry, I need a uh, darkest one first. Let me just get the right colours. Light pink, pink, darker pink. Uh, I've got glue on them. And that one's darker than that. Right, so it's this one first. Now, that's my shelf. This is going to fit in there like that. Okay. So I'm going to pop them on first. In fact, I might not glue them. I don't think I need to. I just didn't want them spinning around. Make sure that all your tabs are the same. Mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oops. Yeah, love them. I might glue them on actually. Right, first of all, I'm just going to glue this in. Lift up, mate. Just make sure that's glued in there and that's glued in there. That's it. Take all the excess off. Um, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. They don't have to be all together, do they? I do like that, though. Look. And then I've got room on top to put something else. And that can go on the shop wall. So, yeah, thrilled with that. <laughs> Another one finished. Um, that's the parcels. I'm going to pop that in there because it is a bit delicate, that kind of wood. Okay. Um, now, we need a trash can. Let's see what we've got here. We need two the same. That's too thick. That's more or less. I could use those. No, they're not the same. Okay. I need that for the trash can. Well, I could use that. We'll see. Right, they can go back. Yeah, we're going to try and make a wheelbarrow. Don't ask me how. Trash can. I'm going to use this because it's more natural, I think. So, what I need is some of this. Remember I made it flexible by, you do that on the edge of the table, break the fibres up and it makes it more flexible to use. Like that. That's okay by me. Trash can. So that's going by the um, 
table where people get the parcels and flowers wrapped. Now, what do I want to do next? Do I want to make the wheelbarrow next or do I want the I need to make the caddy thing, don't I, really? Uh let me see. I need to make a
There you go. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Oh, we can use this one. It doesn't have to be silver or anything. I don't know what I did with mine. This is like a bronze. I'm just going to get some more water. I might have to figure that one out <laughs> before I do anything else. May have to figure that one out. Let's have a look. So, oh, we want one. I need one with a hole in. What can I use to make a hole? A drill? Yes. Have I got mine? Don't know where it is. Nearly done now. Just keep this long enough to get this done.
I'm happy with that and I'm going to decorate it up but I'll come back and show you that. I had a bag of these matchsticks and what I've done is to make it different is to um, put them around the edge so it's going to look more rusty. So I've just put them all the way around the edge, glued on the handles so they're nice and firm. 